All right, well, take a look here. We wanna show you the stunning moment a little more than 13 hours ago. This happening while many of you were sleeping, a Singaporean flag container ship veering off course, crashing into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore within a matter of seconds. As you just saw right there, the entire span of that bridge across the Patapsco River collapsing. The bridge part of Interstate 695 had been a vital artery along with the Port of Baltimore serving as a hub for shipping on the East Coast. So here's what we know tonight. Right now, there is a search on for at least six people feared to have been sent plunging into the river. Two people were rescued, one refused treatment, and within the last couple of hours, the other person was discharged from a local hospital. All eight are believed to be a part of a construction crew which was working on the bridge at the time. And today, President Joe Biden vowed to use federal funds for recovery and rebuilding efforts, given the importance of the port of Baltimore to the state's economy. This is going to take some time. The people of Baltimore can count on us, though, to stick with them at every step of the way until the port is reopened and the bridge is rebuilt. Well, tonight, a team of investigators and engineers, they are on scene looking at what exactly caused this collapse. And that investigation, of course, Faith, will take a, long, a lot of time. But 11 Alive's Grace King joins us now with some insight from a local structural engineer. Grace. Well, the Francis Scott Key Bridge was built in the 1970s, nearly half a century ago, and the Port of Baltimore has expanded significantly since, attracting much larger container ships like the Dali. Now, a spokesperson with the National Transportation and Safety Board says the Dali weighs, weighs roughly 95,000 tons and is 300 meters long. For perspective, it would be one of the tallest skyscrapers in Atlanta if it were turned on its side. Now, anything of that magnitude is likely to cause significant damage, but Tim Schmitz with Structural Engineering Solutions says it's a rare scenario. Everything's a probabilistic design. As much as we take that into account, there's no way to account for everything. And, and especially in some of our older structures and these larger containers, you know, you literally can't design for every single uh, event, but you, you, the codes are designed so that the probability is very small. Now, Schmidt says this style of bridge isn't designed to survive if you take out a significant portion of it, like the container ship did in this scenario. He says it's a shocking, tragic event that the engineering community will try to learn from. Absolutely. Grace, thank you. And tonight, Lester Holt will be anchoring NBC Nightly News live from the scene of today's bridge collapse in Baltimore. He'll have the latest on the search and recovery. Again, that's coming up tonight at 630 right here on 11 Alive.